Hi YouTube, this is Marauders here and today I have you I have for you the Microsoft Scalp Ergonomic Desktop. So essentially it's it comes with the Scalp Ergonomic keyboard and which comes with this separate keypad as well as the Scalp Ergonomic mouse. Now let's take a look at the keyboard first. I'll just put this aside. The first thing you notice is of course this very unique looking keyboard. It's it has like all ergonomic keyboards, it's uh, curved, it's curved so your hands are at a more natural position where everything your hands are straight. Instead of with a normal keyboard you'll be typing like this with your hands with you have exit pressure here. Now, other than the fact that it is curved inside, this is act, there's actually a little ridge, so you can see it's a little ridge. So this promotes good, good posture for when you are typing, and so you have a less chance of getting your any carpal tunnel syndrome and all. And uh, they are of course membrane keys. They aren't you don't you can't. It's not a mechanical keyboard since they need it to be thin and feels great to type. The keys feel nice and smooth, it's responsive. But uh, as with all ergonomic keyboards, and when you first start using it, you feel extremely weird because unless you've been training up on your typing, most at most times you might be you might use the wrong fingers for the keys now that's one of the good that's the other good thing of using an ergonomic keyboard not only are you typing in good posture you are also tra you're training yourself to make sure that you type you're using the right fingers for the right keys because now it's more of an effort to actually cross the boundary when you're when you're typing so you kind of have to train yourself to type properly now, <clears throat> one thing about this keyboard is that the function keys, okay, the function key row. Now, first of all, while the other keys are actual keys, the function keys are a bit different. They feel like small little switches. So, the, the, the feel of pressing on a function key is actually a bit different. Now, the other thing here is that unlike other keyboards where you have a dual functional function key they don't have a shift modifier where you press the key in order to access the function what they do have is that they actually have a little switch so you actually toggle between whether you want it to be the normal F1, F2 keys or the <coughs> additional media keys excuse me. now this might be a problem for some people if you need to quickly shift between the 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 actual between the function key functions and the shortcut keys which which the which are shared with the function key so you have to remember to slide it do a slide it to the <coughs> feature the group you want press the key and then slide it back to the group that you usually use uh, so not really a deal breaker but I guess it's good to know if you are if you do use the function keys a lot now of course next we just take a look at the oh yeah before that this is a wireless keyboard and it is powered by here's the battery door the interesting thing here is that the battery door is magnetic so they don't need to open it, any awkward levers you just drop it in that's nice now it's powered by two AAA batteries of course I have no idea what the battery life on this thing is I just got this a few weeks ago okay moving on we have the keypad which is well it's a keypad what else would you expect? It's the same, the keys here are the same as the ones on the keyboard. I guess the main thing is that Microsoft decided to split this out is because you, it can make the keyboard more compact and 
for a person that actually wants to use this they, they can still have a keypad on their own so you can shift to the num log and you can still have your cursor keys here as well and you have a nice little quick shortcut to activate the calculator you uh, why would you oh okay I, I guess I don't understand people who actually need to launch the calculator from here but okay the wireless keypad is run <clears throat> powered by a 2032 battery and for this to open this you have to take a small little screwdriver thingy to twist it out <clears throat> very inconvenient so I'm hopefully the battery lasts long enough for you to uh, to so you don't have to keep changing it up finding something to open this with I guess normal people don't carry screwdrivers around with them in the pocket now one more thing about the keyboard is that <clears throat> It comes with a little stand here. So this is for there's one more school of thought where if you lean your hands down, you can also you can also have a nice ergonomic form. So you just can just take this and again using magnets it just snaps in. That's a really nifty trick. That will be these two grooves here. Snaps in. And there we go nice solid base I haven't actually tried it with this with this stand much uh, personally I I find it a bit funny arcing downwards whether it's more comfortable or not I can't tell and as as you can might have figured out by now after looking at the bottom this palm rest here this it feel the it feels like those gel things that you can find when the surface is it's not, it doesn't feel like rubber and yet it doesn't feel like cloth it, okay, it feels like some sort of cloth uh, I am not sure how well it will hold up after a while it feels a bit, feels tough I guess it should be okay as long as you don't try cutting it and it, again, not being removable probably means you can't actually replace it Hmm, that might be a bother. And okay, that's it for the keyboard. Let's leave that aside. Now this is the mouse that comes with it, is the scalp ergonomic mouse. Now on first glance you might see that hey it's a very tall mouse. I mean here's the back. Again, it's you can see it's a very very tall mouse. Very big. Now the idea here is again these are this is an ergonomic mouse it's not for you to try and play games with it or much in the long run now the difference here and the shape of the mouse is that you don't you're not supposed to put your hand over the mouse because when you put your hand over the mouse let me just get this out of the way Because when you when you rest your hand over a normal mouse, it's considered to be stressful on your hands. So what you do here is that with this mouse, you grip it from the side, like you're moving around a cup of water. That's what the instructions were said previously on a different ergonomic mouse I have. So this kind of uh, feeling is more natural and less. It causes less stress on your on your joints. So again, well, it's an ergonomic thing. It does feel comfortable using it in the long run. Now, for the mouse, you have your usual right left buttons and the wheel. The wheel has a it has a very solid click on each indention. You have your start menu button. So when you click on it. it opens up the start menu and there's a small recess side button here which you can customize to do your browser back function and whatnot so at the back of the mouse this is a blue track mouse you have a power switch and again we can open up the power door <clears throat> okay this is powered by two double A batteries and here's the receiver so one receiver this receiver is tied to all three things so the mouse, the keyboard and the keypad um, 
I guess you, it's a good idea that you don't actually lose this since it's connected to everything which I guess you shouldn't since it's a more of a desktop keyboard than a portable one so just remember one dongle power connects to all three of the devices so try not to lose it okay so again this is a magnetic claps very interesting design okay so and there we have it the Microsoft Scout ergonomic desktop uh, I really like typing on these ergonomic keyboards they feel really good to me in the long run as much as I like to hear the clack of a mechanical keyboard resting my hands when, uh, when you type like on these keyboards re feel really comfortable and really nice now the problem here is most people might only want the keyboard unfortunately here in Malaysia I haven't found someone I, I, I don't see them just selling the keyboard it's always come with a set with the mouse as well and it's really expensive um, wish they bring in only the keyboard and if you but as it is with both of these things it's actually quite expensive you can buy a nice little mechanical keyboard with with the price um, but again if if you are looking for an ergonomic keyboard and especially if you suffer from any kind of stress on your hands or you feel that you you are when you type too long on the on the keyboard you feel stressed these are very good even if you don't get this one you should think of getting an, an ergonomic keyboard especially if you're a programmer or anyone that sits and types on the keyboard for a long time okay and that's it please subscribe and like for more videos about gear tech and toys this is marauder signing off and i'll see you around